Hi everyone, I thought for this video I will show you um, three traps you can play with the black pieces and they are very instructive and amusing and should be known by all good players. The first one is known as the Lasker trap. The moves that start it off are d4, d5, c4, e5, the open counter gambit, d takes c5 and d4. And this pawn is a lot stronger than it looks, as we are going to find out, and even has the possibility of promoting to a knight. Uh, why should it here play knight f3? Or, an interesting move is e4, which although neglects development and gives black a pass pawn, does get some important central space. And both are fine. However, if white is careless and plays e3, you can play bishop b4 check. The Albin is quite popular at club level due to its trappy nature. Bishop d2. And after d takes e3, white's best is f takes e3, except in double pawns. However, um, if, black, if white takes the bishop, this is hammered by e takes f2 check. First of all, if king takes f2, queen takes queen. If king e2, only move. Now, you might have no if, now if the knight on um, g1 wasn't there, bishop g4 check would win the queen. However, see if you can spot this astonishing move. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. The idea is, is that we have to queen with check, well, knight with check, by f takes g1, promote to knight. Now, um, if rook takes g1, we have bishop g4 check. So... King e1 is forced, and now queen h4 check. If g3, then queen e4 check wins the rook. So king d2, and now bishop g4, bringing the bishop into the game with tempo, and after say queen b3, and after knight c6, say white plays rook to hg1, we can castle queen side with check. Black has gone absolute crushing attack, and this is practically game over at move 11. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this trap, and on to the next one. This is the um, Blackburn Shilling Gambit. This was um, supposedly used by Blackburn, Henry Blackburn, from Manchester, to um, win shillings off um, players, amateurs. The trap moves are e4, e5, knight f3, knight c6, bishop c4, the Italian game. And if black can try the weird knight d4, moving the same piece twice in the opening and leaving e5 on pre. White's best is probably knight takes d4, e takes d4 and castles with an advantage. Now if uh, knight takes e5, then this is actually an interesting piece sacrifice. After queen g5, forking the knight in e5 and the pawn on g2. White can play bishop takes f7 check, king e7, castles with strong compensation for the um, sacrifice piece due to having two pawns and a superior king. However, if white plays knight takes f7, which looks good, forking the queen and rook, this is hammered by queen takes g2, rook f, if um, knight takes h8, then queen takes h1, bishop f1, and queen takes e4, check, is crushing. If rook f1, then this is also hammered by check, Bishop b2 and knight f3 smothered checkmate. A checkmate in just 7 moves with black. So this knight d4 thing, I wouldn't recommend trying it over the board, but I'd recommend trying it for a laugh online. You might get some rating points. On to the, I hope you enjoyed this one, and on to the third and final trap. This one is known as the um, Keininger trap. The moves to start it off are d4, knight f6, c4, e5, the Budapest gambit, d takes e5, knight g4, um, knight f3, knight c6, which is constantly nibbling away at e5. Black's going to try and regain this pawn. Bishop f4, and now bishop b4 check, this annoying check. And now if knight bd2, queen e7, white is losing the pawn by force. After a3, Black now has the shot, knight g takes e5. The reason is, is that, well, first of all, the best continuation for white, and this is actually, I think, the main line of the Budapest, is 
Knight takes e5, knight takes e5, e3, bishop takes d2 check, queen takes d2 check, and white's bishop pair should give him a slight advantage, although there is chances for black in this position. However, if white is careless and plays a takes b4, then this is hammered by knight d3 smothered checkmate, and this is trap is easy to fall for, because you don't expect to get mated with white in 8 moves. Especially not with um, d4. Notice I'm um, just going back. After knight takes, knight takes. Notice that the bishop still can't be taken due to knight d3 mate. Because that's knight d3 mate still in the position. And this trap is also, this this trap's better because the other, well the last one you had to make like a bad move to have a chance of getting it. But in this one you're making like a main line, it's a main line open fear with this. So there's pl good chances that white's going to fall for it, and this can be tried over the board. And the Budapest is good for rapid play. And even for long, I suppose, because white only really gets a small advantage out of it. But anyway, um, th anyway, um, I hope you enjoyed these traps and found them instructive. And um, I might do some more traps um, later on. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it. Feel free to leave any comments and thoughts. Thanks very much.